Unit Twelve: Recognizing, Understanding, and Fixing Passive Aggressive Behavior. June Twenty Second. Because of the destructive nature of passive aggressive behavior, it's important to learn how to deal with it. To do that, we must first understand what causes it. Sometimes passive aggressiveness stems from a person's upbringing, where their environment discouraged expressing emotions directly. Because of this, they may not know how to clearly communicate feelings, so they find a way to do so subtly. In other cases, people know that being aggressive is not socially acceptable. So, in situations like these, such as family or business events, they may be subtle with their aggressive behavior. There are also times when people just don't have the confidence to be assertive, and justify being passive aggressive as an easier way to deal with emotions. When someone is demonstrating passive aggressiveness toward you, it's crucial to not get angry or frustrated in response. Instead, encourage the other person to talk about their feelings by pointing them out in a non-judgmental way. Once this is done, you can let them specify or elaborate on their feelings, which will give you both ample opportunity to correct any issues. It can often be easier to recognize other people's problems than our own, but it's also essential to evaluate when we're being passive aggressive. If you've acknowledged that you're being passive aggressive, try to work out what you're feeling and why you're feeling that way. You can then begin to concentrate on making changes, such as learning to express your feelings clearly, and in an appropriate manner. This can take time, though, so you must be patient with yourself. While conflict is an unavoidable part of life, recognizing when passive aggressiveness occurs and how to fix it. Is an important tool for forming deep, lasting relationships.